The runaway black hole and the cosmic collision in a stunning twist of cosmic discovery, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has once again amazed the world, unveiling secrets from the deepest corners of the universe. Just a few weeks ago, Webb made headlines by detecting the earliest known galaxy ever observed, a faint, ancient glow born just moments after creation itself. But now, it has gone even further. The telescope has captured evidence of something far more astonishing, a supermassive black hole racing away from its home galaxy at an incredible 4 million miles per hour. This breathtaking discovery has left astronomers speechless, forcing them to reconsider what they thought they knew about the nature of black holes. For decades, we've seen black holes as voracious cosmic beasts, swallowing everything in their path, gas, dust, stars, and even light itself. But this newly discovered black hole appears to break all the rules. Instead of consuming, it creates. Instead of destroying, it gives birth. In its wake, Webb has captured a glowing trail of newborn stars, stretching nearly 200,000 light years through the darkness of space, a bridge of light born from chaos. Scientists believe that as this black hole plows through clouds of interstellar gas, its intense gravitational forces compress and cool the material, igniting waves of star formation in its path. A team led by Professor Peter B. of Yale University published these groundbreaking findings in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Their study revealed that what Webb captured is not destruction, but cosmic creation in motion. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope later confirmed these results, showing that the black hole leaves behind a radiant cosmic scar, a wake where gas collapses, cools, and bursts into starlight. This discovery challenges one of astronomy's most fundamental ideas, that black holes only take, never give. Now, it seems, even darkness can create light. But that's only part of Webb's breathtaking story. The telescope has also captured new, never-before-seen details of one of the most spectacular galactic collisions in the nearby universe. Known as ARP-220, this colossal event is the result of two spiral galaxies colliding head-on, merging in a slow, magnificent cosmic dance. ARP-220 shines with the brightness of a trillion suns, its infrared glow piercing through the darkness of space. For comparison, our own Milky Way shines with only about 10 billion suns. Located roughly 250 million light-years away in the constellation Serpens, ARP-220 is one of the closest and brightest galactic mergers ever recorded, a living laboratory of chaos and creation. Around 700 million years ago, the two galaxies collided in a cataclysmic explosion of light and energy triggering a wave of starbirth so intense that it packed as much gas into a small region as the entire Milky Way. That region, only 5,000 light-years wide, contains more than 200 massive star clusters, each glowing like cosmic jewels against the darkness. Radio telescopes later discovered over 100 supernova remnants within just 500 light-years, evidence of constant stellar birth and death within the galactic heart. Hubble's earlier images showed the twin galactic cores, separated by only 1,200 light-years, each surrounded by swirling rings of stars that glow brightly in infrared light. But Webb's latest images go even further, revealing faint tidal tails and glowing filaments that stretch far beyond the merging galaxies, each line a signature of intense gravitational pull. The red, cyan, and orange streams seen in the image represent clouds of organic molecules, carbon-rich material scattered throughout the collision zone, the same ingredients that one day could give rise to life itself. ARP-220 isn't just a sight to behold. It's a window into how galaxies evolve, collide, merge, and rebuild themselves from the ashes of chaos. And just when scientists thought Webb had reached its limits, it revealed something even more astonishing, a discovery that would shake the very foundation of cosmology, the edge of the universe and the mystery of creation at the outermost edge of the observable universe. The James Webb Space Telescope has found primordial galaxies, so ancient, so distant, 
that their light has been traveling for more than 13.5 billion years to reach us. At first, astronomers couldn't believe it. Some thought these galaxies were mere illusions, perhaps closer galaxies disguised by strange cosmic dust. But after cross-checking data from telescopes around the globe, scientists confirmed the truth. These galaxies are real relics from the dawn of time. Each one was born just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still glowing with its first light. Their discovery gives us a direct glimpse into the universe's earliest and most mysterious chapter, the time when the first stars ignited and galaxies began to take shape. The telescope's spectral instruments confirmed that these galaxies are far beyond anything Hubble could ever see, proving Webb's unmatched ability to peer deeper into space and time. Its power lies in detecting infrared light, the stretched and faded glow of the first galaxies, shifted by the expansion of the universe across billions of years. This capability allows Webb to study extreme redshifts, showing us what the universe looked like when it was less than one billion years old. Yet, with this achievement comes a mystery that has left scientists puzzled. Webb's observations revealed that several of these galaxies existed only 300 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, yet they appear massive and mature, containing structures much like our own Milky Way. This discovery doesn't just surprise scientists. It defies everything the current model of cosmic evolution predicts. If galaxies of this scale existed so early, then perhaps our understanding of the Big Bang and the formation of the early universe is incomplete. Some researchers argue that these findings challenge the cosmological inflation model, the theory that the universe expanded instantly from a single point of energy. Others suggest that maybe the Big Bang did happen, but what caused it, and how galaxies formed so fast, remains one of the greatest cosmic mysteries of all time. Renowned theoretical physicist Michio Kaku expressed his astonishment, saying that Webb's discoveries force us to rewrite the story of creation itself. He explained that galaxies like the Milky Way should take billions of years to form and mature. So finding massive ones less than half a billion years after the Big Bang means we might be missing a crucial piece of the cosmic puzzle. NASA recently shared even more intriguing data. A young galaxy cluster located only 650 million years after the Big Bang. Astronomers believe this cluster will one day evolve into something as colossal as the Coma Cluster, a massive swarm of galaxies bound by gravity. Scientists describe these early galaxies as drops of water flowing through separate streams of space, slowly merging into one great cosmic river, a poetic image of how structure forms across time. Clearly, the universe is far more complex than we ever imagined. Each new discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope brings us closer to answering the most profound question of all. Where did we come from, and what came before everything else? Perhaps the Big Bang did happen, but maybe it wasn't the beginning, only a transformation, a moment in an endless cycle of birth and rebirth among the stars. As we gaze deeper into the cosmos, the truth may be closer than we think, waiting patiently in the silent light of distant galaxies. What do you think about these discoveries? Could they change the story of how our universe began? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and thank you for joining us on this journey through space and time. Until next time, keep looking up, because the universe is still writing its greatest story.